uh, Opus One Berks Chamber Choir was started in 2012 as a small chamber choir in Reading. Um, we soon turned it into a nonprofit organization in the community. Um, one of our biggest goals is to serve that community musically. Uh, I'm very happy to sing with Opus One. Um, I chose the group for a couple reasons. Um, Chris Hoster is a wonderful director. Uh, there are many wonderful directors around, but what Chris does is pieces of music that no one else performs. The challenge of new music, um, trying to perfect it, make it perfect, um, being with, with people who I enjoy working with, uh, I think that's the biggest thing, is, is just coming together and, and making music as a group. What I think makes Opus One unique is that you're bringing a lot of people from the community, um, a lot of people from local schools together in one place and encouraging them to make music together. Any kind of music, any kind of art is very cathartic and at the end of the week, at the beginning of the week, you know, maybe you've got some stress, maybe it was a hard week, maybe it was a great week, but it's nice to come here and sing it out and to um, make this beautiful music with other people. And it's, it's been like a really warm, wonderful, and super talented group to work with. It kind of pushes you, but it also makes you feel like you can do it. Because a lot of the music that Chris picks is uh, it's challenging. Um, so it forces you to really pay attention and um, be involved in what's going on uh, in order to have a successful rehearsal. This is the way I picture Chris going to pick out music. He goes to the music library and he goes through and it's like 1900s, 1800s, 1700s, oh, 1600s, I think I'll choose one here. And then he looks at the different music and it's like, oh, six pages, you know, 18 pages, 28 pages. Oh, there we go, 28 pages. So he grabs the most difficult pieces, you know, and he'll look through it and say, oh my gosh, we need a harpsichord, we need a violin. Well, that's almost impossible, you know. And, and he's, as he's looking through the music, he finally says, man, this is a tough piece. We're doing it. Choosing repertoire for the ensemble is really one of my favorite things about the ensemble, about doing Opus One, because uh, you get to set the bar just a little bit too high so that they have something to uh, strive for. Uh, you never want them to be bored in rehearsal. Uh, you always want to have something to do and something to work on. And so there's always that higher bar that you keep raising uh, with every piece that you select to program. When we come into rehearsals, what I most look forward to is putting together the music. I like to get past the mechanical parts of learning the notes and the words uh, so that we can move forward to making interesting music. You know what I like about coming to rehearsal is, is the camaraderie, you know, all the people. You know, we all get along. We're like one big happy family. And this is my time during the week for me where I get to have an artistic expression um, and I get to take time for the arts and I'm not running around after kids and I'm not paying bills. I get to just make music and that's, that's really a special time. What I look, most look forward to coming to rehearsal is working on something new every single time. So because of the variety of the repertoire which we program, we get to work on something completely different every single rehearsal. Uh, and for every different, every different concert we have, it's a completely new program. I think my favorite so far would be um, singing the Buxtehuda, the Wounds of Christ. Um, you know, it's a very heavy piece, it's very intricate, and it doesn't necessarily appeal to a wide audience, so I wasn't entirely sure what kind of um, group we were going to get, how many people we were going to get come out, and I walk out and there's this huge crowd, all types of people, all ages, you know, very diverse, and it was just, it was really exciting to see these people excited to see us. That was really cool. Music has to be performed live. The audience should be there live, uh, and Opus One is important because we bring music to the community that it would never hear before. Um, most of our music is, is not what you would call commercial music. Um, it's not something that you can hear on a TV commercial. It's not something you hear as the background music for a political rally. Um, it's music that is written by great composers uh, with great messages for the audience. And uh, we always need to have our audience expanding their horizons to hear music they've never heard before. 
as a group, we're trying to make something beautiful. And we all know that there are problems in the world, and, and if we can find one place or one thing we can do that provides some sort of beauty and joy, I think it, it makes it all worthwhile. That's the most important thing, I think, to this beauty. We need more beauty in this world. I feel like um, a lot of us are struggling in the world right now. There's a lot of turmoil, a lot of divisiveness, and I feel like there's nothing that brings us together more than the arts. And so having a chance to kind of drop all that away right now and just kind of focus on making something beautiful in the world, that's a really powerful healing thing. That's one of the things that keeps bringing me back. This style of music is so unique and it's not something that you find a lot in the area. And that's why I'm really attracted to, to singing this type of music. Um, I think it's really important to keep this music alive, um, especially some of the early music. You know, you don't get a chance to hear some of it too often. Um, but if we don't take that step to program it, if we don't take that little jump to really work on this stuff and show people that, um, then, we, then we lose something fantastic about, I think, ourselves.